on the monetary policy side, last year as we saw the pressures of inflation from the beginning in the first quarter of, of this year, I mean, that time it was mainly linked to the poor performance of agriculture and season air uh, and lingering effects of uh, COVID-19. So we took a decision as a monetary policy to increase our policy rate by 50 basis points. We expected average inflation for the year to be at 7.5%. And uh, as I, we see here, uh, normally when we increase our policy rate, the short-term money market rates follow. So we see the interbank rate increasing to 5.4% from 5.19 in the first six months of, uh, of last year. So this is a transmission that at least we see immediate effect. We haven't seen this really impacting directly on the lending rates uh, as yet, but as year went on, inflation kept on increasing. So Ukraine war kicked in from that time, beginning of this year, so we started really experiencing the impact of Ukraine in the second half quarter of this year. And by our monetary policy committee in May, we had expected inflation to average around 9.2% for the, for the year, and at that time we felt the decision had taken in in February was enough to, to deal with the pressures we are seeing. But in our last monetary policy committee meeting, as you heard in our publication, in our press release and uh, other media channels, we saw inflation was in fact increasing much faster than we had projected earlier. And this is mainly linked to, to agriculture. When we look at the headline inflation for the first six months of this year, uh, this increase by 9% and also had some sort of best effect because last year it was very low at 1.4%. But when we look at where we were last month uh, in August, uh, we were at 15.9%. In fact, on average for this, uh, uh, for this quarter, it might be around 15, 16%. And when we look at the annual average for, for Inflation, it's expected to be at around 12.1%.